Hi, it's James from Hidden Depths Coaching. So I'm a wee cut today, it's a bit later than normal, but I've had, a, I've had an extremely busy day. Uh, and normally I get a wee break in between, but today was just, just a day that was completely busy from start to finish, but I love it that way. What I thought I would talk about today, it was I was at the gym this morning, I like to go to the gym first thing in the morning, early. My dad, he trains down at that time as well, so I get to see him as well. And yeah, you know, I was on the, the bike at the end and they've got TVs and they're always set at the news and I don't I don't watch the news to be fair, I just try and stay away from that. Uh, but I sat home didn't you and it was it looked like there was another what I thought first of all was like a terrorist attack but then it now looks like it's a bit of a re revenge attack so excuse me because I don't really know the full details all, all I heard was you know it was a man at 48 that drove uh, a van and he and he and he had like looked, looked like a mosque area a, a type of thing I don't, I don't really know as I say I only could see bits in the subtitles of, I've not looked at it since then and you know they were they were interviewing people and it just kept all I kept reading all the time was anger, revenge, disgusting and and it got me thinking about what's going on just now. And there is a lot of anger going about the now. There's there's a lot of personal attacks, there's a lot of opinions, there's a lot of judgments, there's a lot of people's point points of view. And I don't think all the positive thoughts and all the positive chat in the world is going to escape from the reality of uh, what the fuck's going on right now, and it's 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 quite disturbing at times, and it's it's quite hard to actually actually take. So I thought I would offer a wee bit of, a wee bit of what I th what I do just to try and because there's a lot of things right. You're never ever getting too emotionally attached in something you're never going to change it. If you're so emotionally attached to it, then, you know, it's going to be very difficult to make what I would say a good judgment. But you've got things that are as big as what we're seeing in the news, and then you've got stuff that's happening to you personally. And, you know, I've got the advantage of coaching a lot of people, so I get to, I get to hear a lot of what's going on. And there is a lot of, you know, anger. There's a lot of people getting, getting attacked with this sort of anger and criticism. And, what the way I like to handle things, right? Especially when it's a what I would say it's kind of a muggy time like this, where there's a there's just there's just so much going on. I always try and look at what's happening, never why it's happening. Just let you understand that when when you attach a why to anything, then it becomes emotionally attached to here, right? Because that's that bit of your brain, which is the feeling based part of your brain, and. When, when you attach something as a why, then your brain automatically thinks it's something that's personal to you. And what I'm trying to say is we're not going to act accordingly if we keep taking it as personal. There's a great book called The Four Agreements. If you've never read it, you should read it. And one of the, the agreements, I can't remind them all off by heart, but, don't, but one of them was don't take things personally. And I can remember reading that full agreement and like, learning how important it is not to own other people's stuff and not to own other people's shit because the bottom line is we we don't know their story we don't know the reasons we don't know the background and there's a lot of things right now that's got me scratching my head like you know how's this how's this allowed to happen or why is more not getting done about this you know but if you try and get into that motive of why, even like I heard one about that tower going up and how it could have only cost an extra £5,000 to make it flammable. And for me, that's like a fucking no-brainer. But if I try and think of why somebody would make that decision of, you know, not doing that, I go to a place of disgust, I go to a place of complete heartache. But you need to, when we're dealing with stuff like this, you need to look at what's happening and it may bring up a bit of temporary anger because when you when something outside you let me understand let you get this just take the big things that are happening in life because they're a wee bit too hard to talk through right but if somebody does something to you and you ask why they would do that to you right then you own that you own all of that and it can put you in a place of feeling like a victim feeling like you know you're attacked but 
if you look at what they're doing, you'll actually have a bit more of an aggressive uh, energy and when you look at what they're doing you can actually you can channel a wee bit of temporary anger yourself and you know you might think well why use anger anger is not a bad thing as long as you don't hang on to it if you use it to evoke you you get yourself to move on because after anger usually comes pride and then pride comes empowerment so rather than trying to wonder why people would do things and why all of this is happening if you look at what's happening you may get a bit pissed off you may even get angry but you'll end up knowing what to do after that and it's worse when you try and get into people's motives there's so many things happening there's there's bad events happening in life and if you try and work out the motive you really really you're going to overthink that you're going to you're going to own all the emotions yourself and then you're going to put yourself in in quite a vulnerable state and that's no help me MD. that's no that's no help me MD move forward and it's certainly no no help yourself so listen i'm no i don't walk about with blinkers on i might not watch the news and all that stuff i'm not into that but i know what's going on and i hear it and i'm no trying to kid on i'm in a positive bubble and everything's okay but i'm looking at what's happening rather than why it's happening and I must admit, it gets me fucking pissed off. But then I realise that me getting angry is not going to help it. Me getting angry is not going to make any difference. And I get back on to doing what I need to do. You know, doing my bit, helping out, you know, trying to, you know, help as many people as I can. Because we can't all become part of that, that problem. And there's, there's, you know, when you look at what's happening, you can see that there's a lot of people that are in the middle of that. And, you know... You know that why why should i own that you know why should i go to that place you know if, if i wanted to help people i need to i need to stay and it's like there's one thing i said in one of my first seminars like if a plane's they say in the emergency but if a plane crashes make sure you put your oxygen mask on even before your infant child and the bottom line of that is you know if you're not looking after yourself you can't help anybody so i uh, just a bit of advice on you know take it or leave it but try and not just in the big events try and what's coming because i think as everybody's getting heat up everybody's getting a bit annoyed everybody's getting very angry i can just you can feel it around about try and not take it personally try and look at what's happening rather than why it's happening and you'll you'll probably you know move on and uh, be able to you know kind of help out and do something else but we could debate the reasons why all day long and i don't think I don't think you could ever get into the people's heads that are making these decisions. I certainly wouldn't want to. So, listen, the wee clip today is just on what and why. When something outside you happens, look at what's happened over why it's happening, and then make your decision from there. Your why should be attached to your choices, your decisions, your beliefs, your actions. Then you can take responsibility. You can't take responsibility of anybody else's actions. You know, don't be a delusional, don't wrap yourself in a positive bubble thinking it's not happening, but try your best not to work out why it's happening. Look at the facts, look at what's happening and then, you know, you'll probably find you can you can, you can move forward uh, from there and, you know, look at your own whys. You know, why are you sitting back, why are you not moving forward, why are you doing whatever, the why you should only be attached to your own stuff, alright? Listen, that's the cut for today, and again, the dates of the seminars, kids seminars, the 28th of July, and the uh, two-day workshops, first Friday night and Saturday, first and second of September, uh, Friday night and Saturday during the day, and it's www.hiddenwetscoaching.com. Thanks, bye.